Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Sebastian Fitness Solutions. What is up everybody? This is Sunit Sebastian from Sebastian Fitness Solutions. And in today's video, I'm going to be addressing a very common question that keeps coming up when it comes to weight training. And that is, does weight training affect height growth? Now, when it comes to height growth, our bodies grow via the elongation of our long bones, namely the humerus, the radius and the ulna, which are the bones of our upper limbs or the arms, as well as the femur, tibia and fibula, which are the bones of our lower limbs, our legs. Now, in between these long bones are something called as epiphyseal plates or growth plates. And our bodies, throughout the early stage of, stages of our development, keep sending signals to these growth plates to keep growing via various hormones like uh, growth hormone. And this process keeps going on and on until the end of puberty, which is often around about 16 years of age for girls and 18 years for guys. At the culmination of puberty, the body sends a signal to these growth plates via a hormone called as estradiol and it tells these growth plates to seal them, seal itself or to lock. And once this signal has been, has been sent to the growth plates, they cease to grow any further and from that point onward your height is set and you won't be growing any taller any more else from that point onward. Now, what did you learn from all this that I just shared with you? Anything and everything to do with height growth is completely dependent on hormones and no amount of external stimulus or weight or any form of external intervention can have any bearing on your height growth either positive or negative. There is no connection whatsoever. You know? So taking any form of weight in the form of any kind of weight training exercise is not going to affect your height growth because there is absolutely no connection there. Heavy weights can most certainly break your bones if it's misapplied. And this is especially the case with children whose bones have not yet completely developed and they're not you know, hardened completely so they're kind of soft. It can happen there but again it cannot affect the elongation of your bones. right? And the same works the other way around as well, where there's no form of activity that you can do that can help you increase your height. So you've got like, you know, a lot of these folks who think by hanging upside down or by stretching, you know, their limbs or by playing basketball that they can grow taller. Well, that is not the case. You cannot, once again, there's nothing that you can do externally that can help you either grow taller or kind of shrink, your, shrink yourself or limit yourself height wise. Now the question that comes about here is how did this myth even come about? Like who even made that connection? Well, it has to do with an association that people make when it comes to seeing certain individuals of certain sports. For example, people look at weightlifters and bodybuilders and more often than not, they tend to be on the shorter side. And on the other hand, you've got guys like who play basketball who are very tall. So people make this association thinking that, well, wait a minute, if all the weightlifters or most of the weightlifters are short and most of the basketball players are tall, maybe weightlifting is causing them to, to you know, not grow and maybe basketball just helps you grow taller. Well, as, sense, as much sense as that makes to most people, that is not the case here. The truth is that it works the other way around. Short people tend to have an advantage in sports like weightlifting or bodybuilding, whereas tall people have an advantage in the sport of basketball. So more short people end up going for the sport of weightlifting because they excel there more, and more tall people end up going for the sport of basketball because they excel there more. And the reason why that works is, for example, let's take the example of weightlifting. Someone who's short will have to lift the bar at the shorter range of motion compared to somebody who's taller. So therefore the amount of work that the short person has to do is less compared to the taller person even if they're lifting the same weight. And therefore the shorter person has a better competitive advantage. So even if a taller and a shorter person were to be going into weightlifting because they love the sport, a short guy is the one who ends up being the poster boy or ends up being the success in that sport because of that advantage that they have. The same works with bodybuilding where a short guy can look more muscular and bigger and round because his smaller frame requires that much less muscle to end up looking big versus a tall guy who is so big that he has to fill out so much space and therefore has to put on a lot more muscle before he can look full and big. So that's why short people tend to, be, tend to have an advantage in bodybuilding. And the same goes for basketball where somebody who is just taller will simply have a better advantage in the game versus somebody who is shorter simply because of the way that game works and how it's just dependent on 
on reaching a target which is up in this high up in the sky somewhat <laughs> so that's pretty much the reason why this happens so hopefully that this video will kind of help in in, in rest, putting this myth to rest and making you realize that once again there is nothing externally that you can do any intervention that you can do that can affect your height either positively or negatively so if you're someone who is trying to get into weight training if you're a young kid who wants to get into weight training and is wondering whether this will affect your height growth or if you're a concerned parent who's just you know wondering whether you should let your child uh, you know partake in weight training and you know this way well hopefully you can be at rest here because in no way whatsoever is it going to impact his or her height growth all right so i really hope that this video has been informative for you and if it has been don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already what are you waiting for click that subscribe button right now and finally if you found this video informative and you can you know that there are others who can benefit from it be sure to share it so we can finally together put this myth to rest and that's about it guys once again i'll see you in the next video but before that as always keep learning keep growing Hey, thanks for watching that video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, if you're on Instagram, follow me there at Sunit underscore SFS. And to watch another video, click right over here.